Hello everybody and welcome to my 94th VBA 2010 tutorial. Uh, and before I get started, I just want to give out a, a big thank you to, uh, a bit cheesy this, but a big thank you to all of my subscribers, uh, any, especially those who have been here since I was, did the 2003 ones. Um, and to everyone who's kind of made voluntary payments for the code and stuff especially um, because now I have been able to take a day off of work every week uh, every Wednesday I'm now going to be using to create new tutorials for you all so a uh, big change for me uh, you'll start to see a lot more tutorials coming through uh, every Wednesday there'll be a new set coming through so if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the, what I'm releasing. Um, and yeah, um, look forward to a good 2014. So let's get started. Um, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can work with other workbooks other than the one you're in. Uh, so far, I've just been showing you how to kind of manipulate the sheets within you know, this workbook or manipulating kind of other Microsoft Access databases and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to kind of open up a new workbook completely. Uh, so the first thing I need to do, I've created a sub procedure uh, and I'm just going to set myself up a, a workbook object. So dim wb as workbook. So same query, you create any other object uh, and I'm just using the workbook data type or object type. Um, so this is just giving me somewhere to store my workbook. I haven't actually created it yet. So let's get to creating it. So set WB equals and then we use workbooks dot add. And this just adds a new workbook into our workbook collection. So if I press play on this. You know, it's over here, I've got book 20 has kind of shown up on the side. Uh, and if I go into my Excel, you'll see I've got a brand new workbook with nothing in it at the moment. Um, so let's change that if I want to actually put something in it. So I'm going to, I'm going to use the with WB just because I'll do quite a few things with this workbook. So I just want to make my code easy to write. So with WB and then dot uh, and I'm going to reference sheet one so sheet one and that's not how you reference sheet one same way we do with normal sheets so sheet one uh, and then I can reference my cells I can reference my ranges so I'm going to just reference the cells uh, and then give them a value of hello world so basically where before we've always used this workbook and then put a dot. Anything we've done with this workbook, we can actually do with our WB object. This workbook is just a version of a workbook object that references the current workbook that we are in in that project. So um, in order to, uh, to, to reference it, we're just referencing exactly the same way we would with this workbook. Uh, it's just that we're using our WB dot instead of this workbook dot. So that's going to open up a new workbook and put something in it. So let's press play. And it's given me a new workbook called Book 21. Uh, and I'm just going to go onto Sheet 1 and you'll see that Hello World has been added into one of our columns. Uh, we can do whatever code we want. We can loop through cells. We can, do, we can take stuff from this workbook and put it in there. Um, uh, and we can do all sorts with that. So just bear in mind that whatever you can do with normal workbook sheets and things, you can do with your new workbook object. Uh, I'm then going to uh, save this workbook down. So let's do dot save as. Uh, and that just gives us a save as. Notice that there's a big long list of things in here. So it's worth just having a look through these and just checking some of them out. Um, and seeing what they do uh, because there's a lot of stuff that you can do with these um, but I'm not going to be able to go through all of them so I'm just going to show you a few things you can do um, if you've got any questions about any of them then drop them in the comments uh, and then so save as and then we just need to pass it a file name parameter so I'm going to call it my new workbook 
Uh, I'm not going to call it my new workbook.xls or anything like that because the Excel is going to work it out for me uh, what file extension it needs. So let's press play on this. Uh, and it's not going to work because I haven't put speech marks around my my new workbook. So it thinks it's a variable that's empty. So let's press play again. And it's created book 23 and then it's done my new workbook.xlsx. Uh, and if I go into this and view objects, you'll notice it's got the hello world on it. You might be wondering where it's saved. So I'm in tutorial 94 here in my file. So it's just saved it in the same file with that my new workbook um, name. Um, note that because we've done save as, we can't do it again whilst this book workbook's open. Um, so if I try and press play again, it's going to say application or object defined because you can't have two workbooks open with the same name. So what I'm going to do is just at the end of my code put close uh, and let's just close down some of my books because I've got too many open now. Book 12, don't save. My new book, book 21, book 20. There we go. Uh, and so now when we press play, uh, it's going to come up with this because it already exists, which is useful, better that than its errors. So I'm going to say yes and replace it. And then it's going to close it down for me. Um, so that's the basics. Let's like, say we don't want to save it in the same folder. Thing. So if we go back into here, I want to save it in this folder back here. So we copy our file path and then we put it in here with a backslash and we put in our full file path instead of just the name of what we want to call the workbook uh, and I press play uh, and then if we go back into here and then you notice it's created a new one in this specific file path rather than creating it in our examples folder now let's say we want to go in the opposite direction and we want to go to a further subfolder uh, what we can do for this instead of just copying in our line here we can put in the subfolder we want, so for backslash folder, and then use the this workbook dot path and an ampersand. And what that's going to do is the this workbook dot path method uh, is going to provide us with the uh, the kind of path of the workbook we're in, um, and then we're going to add on slash folder slash my new workbook. So when I press play on this, it's going to create it and then it's going to be in my new folder. So that's very useful for if you're sending it to someone else because it will just create it in a kind of new directory. Uh, note that if the directory doesn't exist, that um, is going to cause you an error. So make sure your directories exist. Um, but yeah, so that's how you manipulate other workbooks. Um, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do similar things, uh, but by work it, uh, opening up a workbook that is currently exists. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you soon.